Hello everyone, welcome back to Combat Made Easy and I hope you all are doing very well. Before we begin, let me remind my dear students that the contents of this channel are only to supplement your knowledge, not to replace the regular online and offline classes in your institution. So please attend your classes and do not miss them. Also, if you like our contents, please subscribe to our YouTube channel, like the videos and share these videos with your friends, with your batchmates, with your juniors. Also, if you are a teacher, then with your students. Please follow our Facebook page and the link will be given in the description. Today, we shall talk about skewness and kurtosis. First, skewness. In our previous video, we learned about normal distribution and normal curve. And we know this is what a normal curve looks like. So this is bilateral symmetrical, smooth, bell-shaped curve. And these are the tails. So this narrow portion of the curve uh, which is going towards the baseline is known as the tail but if we draw a frequency curve using the observations in a given set of data we may not always get a normal curve sometimes the curve may look like this or this so as you can see these curves are not bilaterally symmetrical or bell shaped so this kind of distribution which is asymmetric in nature is known as skewed distribution and the curve is called skewed curve. The position of the tail of the curve determines the type of skewness. So in the first curve here on the left hand side you can see this is the tail. The tail is on the left side and that is why this is known as left skewed distribution. On the other hand in the second curve since the tail is on the right side so this is right skewed distribution. The x-axis in the curve denotes the variable value. So as we go towards the right side, the value of the variable increases. So that is why when the distribution is left skewed, that means the tails, tail is on the left side, it is known as negatively skewed because the value of the variable here is less. On the other hand, when the tail is on the right side, the value of the variables here is more so that is why this is known as positively skewed so remember left side tail is known as left skewed or negatively skewed distribution tail is on the right side it is right skewed and also known as positively skewed distribution we all know that in normal curve the mean median and mode is represented by the vertical line which is in the center of the card so this value here the mean and median and mode they all coincide in case of normal distribution in case of any skewed distribution always remember the mean value is close to the tail so this is the closest value compared to the median and mode so this is the tail here is the mean value also here this is the tail this is the mean value the peak of the curve that is represented by the mode value so this is the mode this is the peak value so this is the mode value here and this is the peak of the curve this is the mode value in between mean and mode somewhere there is the median value now in case of left skewed distribution or negative skewed distribution like this one the mean value is the lowest and the mode value is the highest because as i mentioned earlier x axis represents the value of the variable and as we go towards the right hand side the value increases so mean value is lowest here and mode value is highest here among these three options so that is why in negatively skewed distribution mean is lowest so mean is lesser than median and median is lesser than mode mode is the highest value it is reverse in case of positively skewed or right skewed distribution here since mode value is on the leftmost part uh, so this is the least value and the highest value is the mean value because it is uh, on the right hand side of both mode and median value so that is why in case of positively skewed distribution mean is greater than median and median is greater than mode so always remember this order in case of negatively skewed and positively skewed distribution because this is a very commonly asked MCQ for your entrance exam. Skewness can be calculated using certain formula. 
for example if we have the mean value and the median value we can use this formula skewness is equal to 3 into mean minus median the whole thing is divided by standard deviation if median value is not available and we have the mode value then it can be calculated by mean minus mode divided by standard deviation suppose we do not have mean median mode any value we have the quartiles value so first quartile second quartile and third quartile always remember second quartile is basically median value so second quartile or q2 means nothing but median value so skewness can be calculated using the formula q3 plus q1 minus 2 into median or you can say 2 into q2 value divided by q3 minus q1 q3 minus q1 represents the interquartile range so this is all about skewness you know what a uh, left skewed or right skewed distribution is and what is the position of the mean median mode and that is more than enough for you to understand regarding this topic now coming to kartosis kartosis is a statistical measure used to describe the degree to which scores cluster in the tails or the peak of the frequency distribution there are three types of kartosis mesocartic leptocartic and platycartic so if you look at this diagram this number one please follow the pointer here this curve the number one curve is what an ideal normal curve looks like now remember all the three curves given here or drawn here are normal curves because they are bell shaped they are smooth they are bilaterally symmetrical but as you can see there is certain difference some of them are wider some of them are taller number one curve this one is the standard normal curve or i should say what a normal curve should look like ideally this is known as mesocartic distribution or mesocartosis number two as you can see this is also a normal curve but this is very tall this is shorter or narrower i should say narrower and the tail ends much earlier as compared to a, a normal curve that is a mesocartic curve the platycartic curve is very wide but very short in height now mesocartic distribution that are moderate in breadth and curves in a medium peaked height so the usual normal curve that we get okay so this is the height which is moderate and so also the breadth or width of the curve is moderate what about leptocartic those which are very tall so this dotted line here is the usual normal curve or you can say the mesocartic this one mesocartic curve and this bold line curve is the leptocartic curve so more values in the distribution tails and more values close to the mean if we have more values close to the mean in a normal distribution mean is at the center so you have if you have more values that means frequency is more frequency is denoted by the y-axis so that is why if we have more frequency that means the car will be taller right so as you can see compared to the dotted line the peak in the leptocartic curve is taller similarly there is more values in the tails if we have more values in the tails that means the tail will also have more number of frequency so that is why in this portion also the tail will be above the dotted tail or tail of the standard or usual normal curve or mesocartic normal curve so that is why this is at higher position as compared to the dotted lines so since we have more values in the tails and more values in the mean or close to the mean that is why in these two parts as you can see the distribution or better to say the frequency of observation will be more than the mesocartic curve so that is why the li lines are above the dotted lines in this two part in the tail part and in the peak or center part this is the mean value here this is known as the leptocartic curve and this kind of kartosis is called positive kartosis because this leptocartic curve is positioned above the mesocartic curve in the tail region and also in the region around the mean value the next one is the platycartic curve where we have fewer values in the tails and fewer values close to the mean 
since we have fewer values that means the frequency is low and that is why the tail portion of platycardic curve will be at lower position as compared to the tail of the mesocardic curve so as you can see this dotted line in the tail position is actually above the uh, bold line here similarly in the peak which is around the mean value uh, since we have fewer number of observations so this peak will be at lower position compared to the peak of a mesocardic curve also since in this curve we have uh, the tail as well as the peak positioned lower as compared to the mesocardic curve this is known as negative kurtosis so always remember whether it is a positive kurtosis or negative kurtosis will depend upon the number of observations in the tail region as well as in the region around the mean value as compared to a mesocardic curve so with this we complete uh, today's session so if you like the video please subscribe to our channel and share this video with your batchmates juniors and friends we also have our facebook page the link is given in the description thank you take care and we shall see you in our next video